Thank you so much, uh, Rike. Uh, reflections from the workshop on uh, public uh, agenda 2030 and public finance. Uh, first, the session started with an overview from uh, Lisa, uh, the lead uh, in, the public in the public finance comparative project, and uh, bringing on board participants from the SDG uh, comparative project to start thinking about um, public finance and financing the SDG issues. Uh, key issues that came up uh, were the need of um, budgeting, budgeting for the SDGs and uh, priorities at local and also at uh, global levels, levels and also thinking about the interest at both two levels. Uh, somehow there was no clarity about how cities should be financed and um, also the control of finances within these um, uh, cities in the case of Kisumu, uh, where, from where we had a presentation alongside Malmo, in the case of Kisumu, we realized that boundary issues could not give the city board uh, adequate authority to control its operation. What we realized uh, in both cases uh, is that both cities were keen on mainstreaming the SDGs within the existing system, and none of the cities uh, was looking at SDG as separate issues. Somehow, there is no specific extra assignment on the SDGs, but uh, some kind of advocating or undertaking SDG issues alongside what, uh, alongside their usual program. Uh, we noted the efforts in both cities that we listened to, uh, effort to implement or uh, implement the SDGs, and uh, somehow it was coming out not yet time to evaluate this process uh, properly. In the case of uh, Malmo, uh, the issues of determining the budget targets somehow uh, is not yet in place. Uh, also, uh, in the mainstreaming of the SDGs in the existing systems, we realized that this was not coming up with an extra budget, but some, some, some sort of an alignment process. Noted that uh, political decisions and commitment was necessary in both cases to set things uh, moving. Uh, one critical area is that uh, in the cities that we are dealing with, there was need to prioritize particular areas in the case of um, Malmo, the four areas were identified, the urban development, education and occupation. Yeah. And uh, in the case of Kenya, we realized uh, we had the four national agenda that were being focused. And uh, because of this prioritization, there was that opportunity to secure extra funding uh, from donor organization, e.g. World Bank, in the case of Kenya. Uh, then uh, what is critical is to how to achieve the budget targets in the case of Malmo and any other city. And uh, any extra budget for the SDG issues are not just necessarily aligning them. And uh, we also noted that um, there is need to come up with mechanism and partnership at different levels here to have this process uh, going on. Issues of revenue, revenue collection in both cities was also an uh, issue that was mentioned as a way of raising the finances. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.